The delicate process of removing this monument. It's just a matter of uh, gently trying to get the pieces apart without chipping them. Began early this morning under the cover of darkness. The monument itself under its own cover for a week after vandals spray painted a hammer and sickle on it. Several people showing up this morning to see the monument off. Some happy. I think this is great progress moving forward. Put it someplace that it belongs, you know, in a museum where people can learn about things. Others not. What can people learn from now? It'd be like taking books out of the library. The monument dedicated to the loyal women of the Old South sat here along Ward Parkway for decades with little to no attention. I don't feel like this is a monument that most Kansas Cityans even knew existed, let alone it ever visited. And now that it's gone, the message most Kansas Cityans want to convey is one of peace and harmony. What happened back then with my forefathers, I can't do anything about. It's like from this day forward, I just want everybody to come together.